Caddis Maximus here, this time with a review of the Harbor Freight Doyle. And yeah, it is difficult to get my cat to stick around for videos. These are their electrical three-piece screwdriver set. Normally retails for 15 bucks. These were actually on the uh, budget or the uh, discount shelf. Somebody had obviously bought these and didn't like them. So I got them for a few bucks off. And I'm going to say off the bat, you know, they are electrical screwdrivers, insulated, rated for 1,000 volts. And they're Harbor Freight Doyles. I would generally recommend like the Milwaukee's or some other brands, to tell you the truth. In the next month or so, I'll end up picking up some more electrical screwdrivers. Uh, these Doyles seem like they'll work fine. So if you can get one of those coupons that works on Doyle products, or in my case, where I only, I only got paid $12.00. They'd be okay. So we have a number two Phillips with a pretty decent uh, Phillips tip cut or shape on it. I do like that. We have a long slot head bit or slot head screwdriver. What I find interesting is that many electrical screwdrivers are actually like two piece. And it appears that this is all one giant molding. On closer inspection, this front insulating piece is actually uh, slid or pressed on so it is indeed two pieces but it just looked you know a little funky down there i think one of the reasons that this person returned is they didn't realize that it came with just a short slot head but it came with one of these unique bits these are designed to drive i call them universal screws when they're electrical uh connections so this would be mainly you only run into these really with uh, electrical conduit electrical boxes uh, things that electricians run into and one of the things they've done with the screws for like say this cord pinch for a conduit or for an electrical box excuse, excuse me is they've designed the screws to basically be universal for convenience so a screw that's in one of these can of course use a standard slot head it can use a number two Phillips just fine and my recommendation, the best way to drive these is a number two square driver, a number two Robertson. So that's the interesting thing about those screws. And so Doyle isn't unique. I've seen a few other brands. Is their, their smart idea was to integrate like a Roberts with a flathead. So you can basically kind of have the traction and convenience of a flathead, but with a screwdriver that uh, stays centered so it doesn't slide out. One of the things that kind of annoys me is they've made that little integrated square there uh, like the size of a number one Robert, so it doesn't really fit in the many screws very well. And the other thing that frustrates me is they could have just done a slight modification of the geometry here uh, so that it would be a little bit more universal rather than only working in screws that already will take three types of drivers. It just seems a little ridiculous to me. Just include another Phillips or make this a number two Roberts for uh, that would be a lot more useful and if you are going to make a design like this instead of making an integrated square drive just have two little nubs that come out so you can at least use it on those types of screws as well as these types of screws which are also very common it's a Phillips and a slot head it sure be nice to be able to use it in one of these and then you just have a lot of extra traction for reduction of cam out and slipping and that's essentially how I feel about this screwdriver and Probably wouldn't recommend this set because I don't like this because this ends up turning a screwdriver like a slot head or a Phillips into a screwdriver that literally can only be used on uh, some pretty specialty fasteners. And the reason it's backwards is those specialty fasteners are actually specialty because they're designed to be driven with one of any three types of bits. So it's a waste of money. Like I said, I go with the Lennox's or Milwaukee's. To tell you the truth, uh, I picked up these GM Power Torques, which some people have commented may be based on uh, a German brand. But I think the Ergona, I like the way these look. They're nice yellow and red, really bright, easy to see. They have a double contour, and really, when you get used to this, this contour is, is pretty well engineered. It really is uh, shape. It's just like they took clay and were squishing it around to figure out what shape would be best for the hand and the screwdriver. And then this is the shape that they squeezed into, and so they just made a handle like that. And uh, I really like the the overmolding. It's just a little bit softer and squishier than it is on the Doyle. And they're five-sided versus six-sided on the Doyle. <laughs> And they don't have these sharp ridges. These doils on these red ridges are plastic and they are, I just don't think they're quite as comfortable as these. And this two piece set's only 10 bucks. Really just 
better ergonomics, excellent ergonomics, and the bright colors just make them easier to see and work with. And surprisingly enough, even the little thing on the end of these where it has the yellow tips, if you're using a flashlight, uh, it just makes them a little bit more obvious. It's I think these are just generally a safer type of screwdriver to use because when you're working with electrical stuff, uh, this is what you want. Something that's brightly colored and uh, easy to see and find. A Doyle, you could be working, it could be a real long day or you're in an emergency situation on call. And uh, these, you may end up having to sit somewhere even in the electrical box and they'll, they may just blend right in and you'd walk off and it'd be pretty hard to miss these. So that would be my general review. I think as far as the quality of the screwdrivers, I think they're fine as far as the Harbor Freight Doyle brand being a premium brand. Uh, but I think a specialty screwdriver, it's just, uh, unless you're a professional and you really like Doyles, it's something that you're not going to use. I mean, hardly ever. So then you're paying a bunch of money for really two different screwdrivers. And why do that um, when you can get some other ones that are, quite frankly, going to be more comfortable and I think are a better product. And Milwaukee's, there's other brands that are good. These are just happy. I just don't have many actual electrical screwdrivers. So that's why I'm going to be trying to focus on collecting up a few more of those. And like I said, I think I paid like 10 bucks at uh, O'Reilly's for these. And uh, that's generally my opinion of these Doyles. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.